Good morning, folks. Eyes on the corona, the solar atmosphere. An active region that was silent when facing Earth has sent a huge blast out into space, yet another major CME that the sun fired away from Earth. Stay tuned to learn about where you can find out more about the Earth-facing solar quiet and how to get more involved in general. The far side eruptions, about all we had. The more surface surging top right departing, but nothing has erupted this way. Coming over to spaceweathernews.com, we find the Earth-facing quiet is winning the battle against the flaring uptick as well, all while the sunspot situation manages to still be interesting, starting with the departing spots. Nice of this guy to wait until the end of his Earth-facing tenure to really get going. Anyone bet he fires after leaving our view? I am beginning to see distension and decay in the enormous Earth-facing group, but alas, delta-class magnetism does remain in the middle where polarities clash. While its bright umbral fields may grab your attention here, I'll note what's left of the Earth's scale, the umbral fields of the next sunspot group still behind the limb. The solar wind here shows coronal hole stream impact. The density bulge in orange before the speedy and blazing hot particles arrive is caused when fast particles from that stream race out and bunch up against slower moving solar wind particles just like snow on a shovel. So we see the rise in density. Then, the faster solar wind came and plasma temperature surged from around 10,000 to about a million degrees Kelvin. Geomagnetic storms have begun. Track them today at spaceweathernews.com. The earthquake watch fell slightly yesterday due to the departure of the trans-equatorial opening. Big one up north still squarely facing Earth, though. Looking ahead to the next time the planet suggests an uptick is afoot gives us November 17th when Mercury conjoins the Sun. Until then, the coronal holes will dictate seismicity, and the only news from beneath our feet the last day is a medium-sized volcanic eruption in Ecuador. Top news of the day comes out of the National Acceleration Lab. First neutrino detections from Boone are in. Just a few days old. The article is linked for you below. So perhaps you want to know more about the Earth-facing solar quiet. There are three places you can learn more about it. First is over at suspiciousobservers.org, where website members have been hearing about it for quite a while. There's Deeper Look episodes 15 and 16. There's a very recent Fly on the Wall episode discussing the topic from October 10th. Then, if you scroll down to the bottom of that Fly on the Wall page and find the oldest episodes, remember that the first ever episode of Fly on the Wall was partly focused on the Earth-facing solar quiet. We revisited the topic again in December, and many other times since then, and I imagine there'll be many more to come in the near future. The topic of the Earth-facing solar quiet also has a number of pages dedicated to it in our book, Observing the Frontier. Just click the image of it anywhere on our websites. And lastly, you can come out to Observing the Frontier, the conference in Phoenix, January 30th and 31st. One of my talks will be detailing the Earth-facing solar quiet. Tickets available at suspiciousobservers.org or at the links found here at the YouTube page. We're still waiting for Arabian cyclone damage reports. Till then, we've got pressure and radar in our top viewer locations, followed by current conditions and shots of our star to close. It's 5.35 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.